And now, a message from the mayor's office. Hello, my fellow citizens. As you know, our city has been ravaged by the effects of the coronavirus. And our administration has put together some simple and clear rules for you all to follow. But it's come to my attention that many of you are still confused. So now, clearly and unambiguously, here are the answers to your questions. One, will schools not be an opening or shouldn't you prepare for the end of remote learning? Yes. Two, should we avoid enclosed spaces like beaches or parks? Possibly not. Three, is it safe to go to the grocery store and or the hot yoga studio? Yes and or no, but not necessarily in that order. Four, what about masks? <laughs> totally, dude. Totally. Five, should I try to remain six feet away from people at all times? Unrelatedly, I am currently an astronaut in outer space living alone. We get this question a lot. No. Answers may be different for non-astronauts. Six. Do I need to disinfect everything I bring in from outside? How do you define need? Does a artist need to paint? Does a child need to laugh or go outside again? So there, I, I think I've answered that question with another more thoughtful question. Seven, what are you doing to address the pandemic. Totally, dude. Psst, totally. What about bars? I'm glad you asked. Bars aren't not to remain open under no circumstances. So why not go out and enjoy a beer tonight? Because it's prohibited, as I just explained. Until now, that is. As of right now, essential businesses like Irish pubs and flume rides are open for business as long as no one goes to them. In case this isn't clear, can you go to a bar? No! Good for you, don't go to a bar. I am proud to announce with the help of a lot of great work and great team members, libraries are now open for the duration of this sentence. I hope you've enjoyed libraries. We will be enacting a policy of rent forgiveness but we will not be enacting rent forgiveness. Many of you have some questions about what that means. I understand. And here come the graphs! Great graph work, Kendra. Thank you again. Still confused? An easy way to see what's going on is to consult the Corona Threat Clock. The Corona Threat Clock shows you the current threat level at any given time. If it's green, that means you should exercise optimistic caution. But if it's red, you should be cautiously optimistic. As you can see, our current infection level is green o red a dangerously promising level of optiously cosmistic. Under this current level, businesses are maybe not reopened, except for some. But if we all follow the simple guidelines that I've put together, we can turn the corona clock back to red o green, kashi optimistically optilocious. And wouldn't that be nice? The way forward is clear. This crisis demands coordinated action and universal participation. If we fail, it will be because of you, not the strong, decisive leadership that I have steadfastly considered maybe thinking about possibly starting to provide. Thank you. No questions. If you have any further questions about these COVID guidelines, do not not call the office during weekday ends from 12 to 12, but instead refer to the website listed above or if on Central Mountain Time below. Hey gang, Brennan here. If you dig college humor and want to support what we do, sign up for Dropout. For the cost of a very big dumpling per month, you'll get videos like this a whole week sooner. Chat with us live in the Dropout Discord. And exclusive content such as Dimension 20. There are no stupid questions. Are you my freaking dad? <laughs>
<laughs> so sign up for your free trial today. Or don't. You know, do what you think is right. I'm not I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life. I don't, I don't even know you. That would be crazy. I um it was wrong of me to tell you what to do. I'm sorry. And that's on me. I'm ruining the CTA.